Hi there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new project to share with you. It's just a fun way to give a gift. Um, they're mini postbound albums decorated in the gorgeous papers from the Floral Shop collection by Graphic 45. This one is um, completely decorated in the papers, all folded around the edge and has 10 black card pages all ready for photos. Um, and I've made it to give as a gift. Um, I'm off to a 40th surprise 40th birthday party later today. So that one is a gift for Vicky. And then my original idea was to make something for all of those prom goers to put their pictures in and keep a lovely, um, as a lovely memento. So this one is, I've called it My Prom 2018, again decorated in papers from the Floral Shop collection. And they've just been stuck on, so the whole album has been bound with our black construction tape, and then um, the paper's just stuck onto the front. So in this video, I'll show you how to take uh, our postbound album kit, our black construction tape, and make the albums, but I'll also give you the dimensions um, to cut out the chipboard pieces if you want to do that yourself. Uh, we've also got a kit available for this version, um, and I'll put the link to that down below, as well as the link to the postband album set and the uh, black construction tape. So the first thing to do is to take your end pieces with the holes in and just edge them with the black black tape. You could use any tape. Um, this one is acid free and light sensitive, um, but you could use any um, strong sticky tape to do this. It just joins the covers together ready to put the papers on and then I've done the short edges first and then the long the long edge and I'm just going to cut the corners back just to get rid of that straight edge so it doesn't curl up under the paper and then just like that so you're just covering three sides of this piece two short ones and one long one and then we're going to join the covers together in pairs. So then we want to take a piece of tape an inch longer either end or slightly, slightly more than the spine piece. Stick it half on, half off the edge of the small piece. Then take your cover piece, line it up. So I'm lining up the edges and I'm going to just lift and roll it. Press the cover down onto the work surface so that the edges are level and then press just on the tape, open up, pull it so that you've got a nice double gap and then bring those tails in, stick them down oops, and then just cover that centre section with the tape, press it down so that you've got no ends showing and then fold it over and then you've got that piece already joined and then we'll do the same with the other one so take your piece of tape an inch longer than your little piece chipboard piece put it half on half off turn over line up your large cover so you want the side edges to be level and the bottom edges to be down on your work surface. Flip over, press down, open out, bring the tails up and just cover the centre. All of this will get hidden inside. And then if you've got any ends 
just to trim them back so that they're not sticking out when we put the paper on. So now that the two covers are decorated, we can start to put the papers on. So, um, let's bring them in. So the first thing to do is to take your long three inch wide piece and your long paper piece. Got it the wrong way around. I'm thinking, why doesn't that fit? And these two need to be joined together. So we're going to just flip them over and take some double sided tape. I'm just using a, a cheap tape. And I'm going to just put the tape half on, half off. The right hand edge. So when you turn the paper the right way, it's the right hand edge. And then I'm going to take the larger floral piece of paper and just butt it right up to the edge of the green one so that you can't see the tape underneath. Press it down firmly and then just trim off the ends. And then that's ready to go onto our album. So flip over again, take your backing tape off and then you want to put a piece of tape down the very edge of the green paper. I'm just going to put tape across in strips so that the whole thing sticks down to my album cover. You could use glue to do this. Um, Take your tape backings off. Easier said than done. We might have to get the pokey tool. So let's just work across. And the last one. And then bring one cover back in. So I've got the short end with the holes in away from me. Ink the edges of your paper if you, um, it's the, the edge here of the green paper. The rest are going to be folded around, but um, that one just needs to be inked. And then position that just on the album cover, so there's about a sixteenth of an inch of the album cover next to the gap between the two pieces showing. And then press it down and turn over. And then take your scissors. Now you, you want to be cutting a diagonal corner off these two areas, but leaving an eighth of an inch of paper showing. like that. So you're not cutting right up to the chipboard. And then take your cover, lift up and pull that long edge over. And then do the same with the other side. So I use my work surface just to get the crease going and then pull up and over. Press that down nice and firmly. I've run out of tape here, so I'm going to put another strip right on the end of the paper. Take the backing off. And then before I fold that over, I'm just going to push these little triangles, paper triangles, in and round the corner of the chipboard, just to cover it, and then up and bring that edge in. So that is the front cover decorated. And then we want to add some ribbon onto that. So take one strip of your ribbon and some double-sided tape that is 
slightly thinner than the ribbon um, and I'm just going to follow the line on the paper leaving a tail at the top and a tail at the bottom and stick the double sided tape down and then lift it up, fold it over at the top and the bottom, take the backing off and then just lightly lay it down. Take the ribbon so that you've got an end sticking out top and bottom and following the line of the tape, stick the ribbon down and then just bring it over and stick it onto the back of the covers, or the inside of the cover. Trim off the ends. And then take your inside piece of paper and that can get stuck on. So just check which way up your flowers are going and then flip over and then stick your inside paper down onto the cover. And you can do that with glue or um, double-sided tape. So I'm going to just use double-sided tape on mine. It's just still bits around the edges. One in the middle just to keep it stuck and one at either end. The tape I'm using here is Stix 2 double sided and um, 6 millimeter tape, which is a really good sticky one. And the wider white tape was just um, a cheap £2 roll hobbycraft tape. So let's make sure that we put it the right way up and stick it in place. And the key thing here is to line these edges up this side. so that you don't see the paper edge and then press down to finish your front cover and then for the back cover you do that in exactly the same way but as an opposite because it sits the other way on the back so that's the right way up um, so you want to have them down on your work surface so that they are opposites and then you're lining up the green paper to the right and the floral paper to the left, like that. So I'm going to join them. I'm going to put the tape on the underside of the floral paper. So when it's flipped over, it's the left hand side. right up, ink this long edge and then put your tape or glue on the reverse that one should have gone right down the very edge no I'll do a thin one down the edge if you put your strips of tape on the back right to the very edge then they will um, Fold, they'll be on the paper where you fold it over to the back of the album. But you could add more if you wanted to. And let's put one little thin one right at this very edge. Take all the backings off.
<laughs> oh, thought I got it. Not quite. Last one. And let's bring it in. So making sure that your cover is the opposite to the one that you've just decorated. And then, let's move that out of the way stick your paper down you want to have half an equal amount showing top and bottom ish don't worry if it's not exact because it's going to be folded over and come in a sixteenth of an inch from the edge of the cover and stick down flip over and then cut off your paper so that you've got an eighth of an inch showing just past that corner, chipboard corner. And fold your long sides in. I always do the long sides first. Press it down so that it's nice and flat and then squish your corners in and then fold that end up and over. And before we put the paper on the inside, we want to just add the ribbon. So put your double-sided tape down the I followed the line edge of the floral paper with the tail top and bottom and then just take your tape off and leaving a tail sticking out top and bottom just pop the ribbon over the tape press it down lift up bring those tails in and over cut the ends off And then checking which way your floral paper is, making sure that it's the right way up, bring the paper in to cover the inside, ink the edges and lining it up with the paper on this side. So just covering those edges, fit it on and stick it down. And those are the covers decorated. So now we're going to move on and cover these end pieces. So you want to take your smaller piece of paper, green stripey um, paper if you're using the green stripey, and put three strips of double-sided tape just down the underneath of the right-hand edge. Take off your backing strips and line it up so that you've got a half inch sticking out at either end of your album and then stick it in place a sixteenth of an inch in from the fold making sure that the fold actually folds under the album and you've got the ribbon facing you on the front and then stick that down really firmly flip over and you want to take something sharp to just poke those holes through so I've got a pokey tool, so I'm just going to poke them through from the one side, turn over and then poke them right through properly from the right side just to push the paper through. And then flip over and you want to fold the sides up, don't stick them, just crease them. Get a crease mark and then fold the paper up and over the edge of your side piece and then you want to cut off straight up to the corner and then down into the corner so you're cutting out that corner section 
and then do the same on the other end. And cut up. And then on those little side tabs, just snip off the corner, just to get rid of that corner. And then you've got tape on these little side tabs, so bring them up and fold them down. Bring them up and fold them down. And then using an ink pen or an ink dauber, dauber, I can't say that word, just re-ink the paper edges that you've cut, these straight edges. And put two or three strips of tape on the back of this piece that's left to stick down. I'm just going to put two on there. Take your backing strips off. I'll just check actually that you haven't got paper. I'm just going to cut that corner in slightly there. So I'm just checking that my paper isn't sticking out over the edge of this piece that we're covering. And then when you're happy that the flap is going to sit on this section, take your backing strips off and fold it over and stick it down. And then take your hole punch and just re-punch the holes that you've poked through. It's just got paper in it, so I can't see where the hole is. So I'm just going to re-punch the hole through that paper on the back. And then we're ready to put the posts in and start to assemble. Well, we would be. Um, decorate the other one in the same way. So you've got your two covers. So you've got your back cover and your front cover done. And then maybe now is a good time to put the wording on before we assemble the album. So I've cut out the word photos using the, um, this is the die set that I've used, the Alter New Caps Bold Alphabet die. And I've cut the letters that I wanted out of Fun Foam and then I've cut them out of the green paper as well that I had left over. And I'm just arranging them on the front. I've offset the letters slightly on the fun foam just to get a black shadow showing around. I've gone for the left hand side. And then I'm going to just use my ruler as a guide going to pop it across uh, like that and just use that as a guide to stick the letters down straight and then I'm just going to tape the ruler down onto my surface just with a little bit of tape so that it won't move while I'm sticking the letters down A bit more on that end. I don't know why I pulled little strips off. <laughs> Let's put longer strips down. So the ruler will stay in place. I've got the album lined up on the lines on my cutting mat and now I can start to stick my letters down. So And then I can use the ruler, let's just unstick it. Just to press down on top of the letters and press them firmly into place. So that's the cover done. So then you want to put the cover, the front cover, just to one side. Bring in the back cover and your posts.
and the pages and the little page, the end cover for the pages. So the first thing to do is to stick the posts through the holes from underneath, then pop the page cover on. I've punched sort of an elongated hole in this so that it can move slightly. And then I'm going to just drop the pages over the posts. You can put as many pages in as you like. I've done 10, but these are 20 mil posts. So there's a lot of um, room to add pictures into the album on those posts before you need to add any more or extensions. Then I'm going to bring the cover in. So I'm going to put that little cover down, bring the cover in, drop it over the posts and screw the tops on. them up tight. So in part two I'll show you how to bind um, the album covers and decorate the album clank clank like this one was um, just with the pages stuck on and all of the taped edges. So if you want to hang around and watch that then do but if not I hope you've enjoyed the video Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to give me the thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with new projects as they come out. So in part two of the video, I'm going to show you how to bind the album covers, put them together and then cut your papers to decorate them um, so that you've got a black bound edge. So in this part of the video, we're going to put the um, covers of the post brand album together using uh, black construction tape. I'll put the link to the tape in the description box below the video. So the first thing to do is to prep three sides of your album cover pieces and to do that you just take your tape and put it half on half off the edge. You can rip the tape at the end or cut it, press it down onto the top edge and then press it firmly over the sides to stick down onto the cover. Trim off the end. So I'm doing the two long ends first. So I'm just holding the tape onto the board with my finger, pressing it down and then just ripping it off and then pressing it down over the edge, trim off the end. And then the last piece I'm putting on this short edge, so I'm going to stick it half on half off. <laughs> And I'm going to use the scissors to cut this one. And you'll see why in a minute. And then before I stick it down, I'm just going to trim those ends away to get rid of the ends at the end of the board, the tape ends at the end of the board. And then press it down and stick it to both sides of the board and then you get really nice tidy corners. So you do that with both of your cover pieces and then the same with your little end pieces. So just three sides, two shorts and one long. So I've done the two shorts first on that piece and now I'm just going to do the long, the long edge. So I'm starting with a piece just 
slightly over the edge, taking it along that. Oops. Don't worry if that happens because it will lift up. Just taking it along that top edge, trimming it off, and then just trimming those corners back. That one I can just lift up just so that they don't curl up under the paper. And then press down and pinch on the side. And if you've got any little sticky out bits, just trim those off. And then to join the two pieces together, take a piece of tape an inch longer than the width of your cover. Put it half on, half off that unbound edge. Flip over, take your short piece and put the unbound edge up against the unbound edge of the cover and holding the side edges together, use your work surface just to get a flat edge and then flip over and press the tape but only on the board so that you can then open out your cover and bring those tails in and then cover the gap with another piece of tape, just cutting it short of the bottom edge and press it down and then fold your flap in and then you've got a nice decorated cover or edged cover and then do the same with the other piece. So a piece of tape, half on, half off that unbound edge Cut it or rip it, flip over, take your hold piece and with the unbound edge up against the unbound edge of the cover, roll, pressing those edges down onto your work surface, press the tape into place just on the board and open out, bring the tails in and cover it. Press the tape down and then fold that flap in and then the two go together and you're ready to decorate it with your papers. So with the papers cut out you want to have your covers um, set up like this opposite ways so that you've got the little hold section on the right on one of them and the left on the other and you stick the inner papers down. So I'm just going to use some glue to do this. And then you want to take your hole punch and just re-punch the holes through the paper. You want to bend the album up, but you can't. You have to keep it using the hole punch. You have to keep it flat. And it's the larger hole on the proper dial. Let's do that one. And then do this one. Oop. <laughs> And then I'm going to turn them over so that we have got them the opposite way. So we'll see the black, no, we'll see the black will be hidden. So they're going to go that way. So on this side, we're going to put the thin pink strips. So if you have them like that, and then flip them over keeping the pattern going the right way. And then bring in your narrow pink strips and the large diamond paper pieces. I was going to say they're black, but they're not, they're indigo. They have got a lovely color to them. And stick those in place. And let's just move that one up.
I've got to repunch the holes now. And then one becomes the front and one becomes the back. They look beautiful, don't they? Just try to find the hole. <laughs> So this one is the back, where the pink folds over that way, and this one is the front with the pink folding that way. So now we can put the decoration on the front. So I've got the large floral cut out from the paper to stick down in this bottom corner. So I've inked around all the edges with a little bit of, um, using a distress pen, um, just a brown vintage photo distress pen. So I'm just going around the edges, so put your piece on if you're making it with me and just put glue all around the edges, squiggles in the middle. And then I'm just going to use my thumb just to make sure that that glue goes right up to the very edge of all of those little pieces. And then I'm going to stick it in the bottom corner, lining up the bottom edge and the right hand edge. And then I'm just going to use my paper towel just to press it down making sure that all of those little edges of all the cup flowers are stuck down. How nice does that look? And then I've cut my letters out. This one I'm just going to put the word photos on. move this one from underneath and I'm just going to use I'm going to sit it on my mat with the ruler across following a line so I think there and then make sure that the let's do it on that one So I'm just making sure that the whole piece is sitting straight on a line and the ruler is sitting straight on a line. And then I'm going to take two pieces of tape and tape the ruler down onto the mat so it doesn't move. And that's my guide to start positioning and sticking down the letters. So, again, for the letters, I've used the Alter New, um, whoops, Caps Bold Alphabet die. Oh, they're all flicking off. We can't spell the word. I've um, sandwiched my letters onto some fun foam with a shadow on the right hand side, and they're just going to sit on the album cover like that. And then I'm going to start with the S and a little bit of glue. Let it soak into the foam and line it up on the ruler and stick it on down and then work my way backwards. I always do that even when I was icing. Um, if I was writing words on cakes, I always started at the end of the word and worked backwards. Maybe it's because I'm left-handed, I don't know. <laughs> so just work across, stick your letters down.
I love the use of fun foam. It just raises up the um, the letters, but it's solid under them. And not like using um, foam strips or foam pads. And pop the P on, and that's it. P for photos. And then I'm just going to lift the ruler up. Now they're all stuck down in place. And I'm just going to press it down on top. Just make sure nothing's on there. Press it down on top of the letters just to really press them down onto the cover. But I love that um, pink and the flowers. So now let's go to the inside. So on the inside cover, we've got the pocket. So let's bring it in. So I've already put my strip of black card just under the top edge. And on these side edges, I've just um, folded them and then just cut off a little zigzag on the quarter inch sections and then just cut the corners off on the deeper sections. I've put tape on either side of the um, end tab and a strip of tape along the bottom. And then I'm going to take that tape off the back. And start the side edge going, get little rabbit ears there, and then just line it up so it's about half an inch up from the bottom of the um, album, centering it between the sides and sticking the bottom edge down and then just grabbing the little tails, pulling them out and sticking the sides of the pocket down. Oh no. Oh dear, just ripped it off. Start from the top. Like that. So that's got a nice bit of depth to be able to put something in. Maybe more photos. And then we've got a little floral spray to go in the centre of that one. So I'm just going to stick that one down with glue. So if you're using the same papers, then stick yours down too. Spreading it out with my fingers. And maybe I'm just going to go off centre. I'm just going to press that into place with a paper towel. And then on the back cover, inside back cover, we have got the other corner floral panel just to go down here. So again, if you're using the papers, then um, stick yours down with tacky glue. I haven't put these on black card. I haven't backed them. I'm just sticking them straight onto the paper. And I'm lining it up with the bottom and the right hand edge. And then just pressing it down into place. And then that coordinates all the way through the album. So now it's time to put the posts and the pages in. So the first thing to do is you on the back thread the posts through from the underneath the black side of our little section then take your page cover and drop that over then slot your pages on to the posts 
I love this bit when it's all coming together. I thought I'd be clever and get all of the pages on in one go, but maybe not. So I just drop them over the posts. And then bring your page cover up and over and then bring your cover in and with it to the left slot the top section on and then bring in your little post tops and screw them into place <laughs> easier said than done fine once they're in their little slots. So again I've used 13 millimeter posts for this one but you could use longer and add more pages and you can always add extensions to the posts. And that's it, that is our little post band album all done and decorated. How gorgeous does that look? In beautiful um, papers from the floral shop collection by graphic 45 all ready to add your photos don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with all the projects as they come out thanks for watching